Hello, hello, everyone. Good afternoon again. This is Toby. Uh, I'm back. Stay two um, of the Nutrition Boot Camp. Welcome, welcome. Um, so yesterday was our welcome intro day, uh, and we uh, I went over some of the basic things that we will be going through in this boot camp. Uh, today is day two. Today, the title of today is Food Purge, okay? Food purge. Okay, so if you don't know what purge means, it means to get rid of something or someone. In this case, it's something. Okay, you're going to be getting rid of a whole lot of some things today. Okay, um, so this day is going to be tough for many of you um, because you'll be getting rid of foods that you generally eat and you like. And you know, I understand that uh, it's tough getting rid of something that you've eaten for so long. Um, trust me, I'm from Philadelphia. I'm from the land of cheesesteaks. Uh, I have not eaten a cheesesteak in over 10 years, like an actual cheesesteak with beef. Um, chicken cheesesteaks, they're subs, but there's nothing like the original. So I understand, trust me, um, some of the foods that you have to get rid of, um, they pertain to you know how you want your body to look, how you want your physique to look. So uh, you have to get rid of some of these foods. A lot of canned goods. Canned goods are bad. Okay, Most canned goods are bad due to the fact that there's a lot of sodium and there's a lot of sugar involved in the making of canned goods. Okay, uh, The way the USDA or some of these manufacturers uh, preserve the food for people to eat is they water it down with sugar and they add a lot of salt and other chemicals. So that people can eat it after, you know, so much amount of time has gone by. I'm here to tell you today you will get rid of a lot of the food that's in your cabinets, uh, refrigerator, uh, freezer, anywhere where you have food, snacks, all of that stuff. It has to go because you are in the process of changing your diet. OK, now in the process of changing your diet, um, like I said, it's going to be hard. It's not easy. Um, and this is one of the more trying days that you're going to go through. Okay. So yesterday you had some homework. Your homework was um, to start assessing some of the labels in your house uh, and to have some trash bags ready. Okay. So you need them trash bags today because you are actually going to go ahead and uh, dump them cans of high sodium and high sugar anything that has high sodium and high sugar you will be dumping in that trash bag okay so and no worries um i know um most people will usually look for a different range of what to what as far as how many milligrams of sh sodium should i be looking for how many milligrams of how many grams of salt should i be looking for um so i will give you all that information today um so no worries um, and you also will have homework today. So uh, before I end the video, I will give you some more homework today uh, on this second day of our boot camp. Okay. So today is food purge. Okay. Food purge. That's the title of today's uh, today's lesson because you're purging. You're getting rid of. You're cleansing your kitchen of these foods that do you no good. They do you no good. They might be pleasurable sometimes. Yeah, I know the pack of cookies are good, but them 50 grams of sugar or them 30 grams of sugar per cookie are not good. OK, it's not good for you. Uh, and all it does is it contributes to the fat that already is within the body. OK, so uh, you have to maintain a healthy level of fat in the body, um, but cookies aren't the way to do it. OK, so uh, or sweets, I should say. Um, so. Let's see. Um, sodium. OK. Foods that are high in sodium. OK. Generally, canned goods are high in sodium. If you have any canned goods over 300 milligrams, you need to get rid of them. You need to put them in the trash bag uh, when you are in your kitchen. So I'll repeat that again. Any canned goods over 300 milligrams. OK. So you have to 
Look at the cans, look at the foods, any foods, any foods over 300 milligrams, they have to go because anything over that limit, uh, your body will store the salt as fat. Okay, that's a fact. Your body will store the salt as fat and you cannot use it. Okay, so um, your body already produces insulin. Excuse me. Your body already produce, produces insulin, which is salt. Um, okay, so adding more salt. Uh, does not help. Okay, so uh, anything over 300 milligrams, please get rid of, put it in the trash bag. Okay, that's sodium. Any sodium product over 300 milligrams, place in the trash bag. Okay, um, now this, when it comes to just natural salt, um, what I recommend for my clients and for people in general, sea salt. Okay, if you're going to eat salt, it has you want it to be sea salt, okay? Iodized salt is way different than sea salt, okay? Sea salt is natural, it's better for your body. Iodized salt is stuff, it's, it's salt, but it's salt with chemicals, okay? So keep that in mind. I, I don't recommend having that in your house. Uh, me personally, I don't cook with salt. I cook with garlic and pepper. So uh, it's a little different for me um, just due to uh, how I have to eat, but it has helped me maintain a healthy feeling lifestyle and I still get to eat a lot of good foods um, and I don't think about salt at all. Okay, so repeat that again. Any sodium, any product in your house, frozen or not frozen, uh, with over 300 milligrams, please get rid of. Okay, get rid of it. Purge it of your kitchen, put it in a trash bag, let it go. I don't care how hard it is let it go okay um now next up the sugar the add a portion of sugar so everything has salt and sugar okay let me repeat that everything you eat has salt and sugar in it okay mm -hmm. unless it's meat um it does not okay meat uh any type of meat usually beef chicken pork uh fish seafood that is they are the only foods Excuse me, that do not have salt or sugar. Okay, so keep that in mind. Okay, but everything else you eat, vegetables, uh, fruit, natural sugar, um, everything else has sugar or salt in it. Okay, so um, when it pertains to sugar, if you have any product in your kitchen that has over 15 grams of sugar, you have to get rid of it. You have to purge it of your kitchen. You have to put it in the trash bag immediately, okay? Uh, this is bad for many reasons, okay? Uh, as I've said, salt and sugar is in everything, um, but sugar more so than not. Sugar goes right to the stomach, okay? As a trainer, uh, my number one thing I get is uh, people tell me I want, you know, I want to, you know, lose the stomach or I want to lose my belly and X, Y, Z. And I tell them that is the hardest part of fat to lose on the body. Okay. So keep this in mind. But one of the best ways to do that, to keep your belly slim is to not eat foods with tons of sugar. Okay. And 50, anything under 15 grams is usually pretty good for you. Okay. Um, anything over 15 grams, that's a different story. So you want to get rid of that. We have to get rid of that, okay? So keep that in mind. So anything, any item, frozen or unfrozen, over 15 grams, get rid of it. Put it in a trash. Put it in one of the trash bags that you have uh, out, okay? Uh, if you care about how your body feels, uh, trust me, that's another way uh, to help you because sugar sometimes can take can drain you sometimes too much sugar can drain you um and sugar is another thing your body also produces Gly glycogen your body produces that so uh the sugar that you eat in normal foods gets stored as glycogen or gets transformed into that in your body uh goes through a process called atp and then um what happens is your body uses it as energy just like it uses carbs as energy okay um so any sugar item over 15 grams, get rid of, okay? Put it in a trash bag and throw it out, okay? So for the sodium, we have anything over 300 milligrams. 
And for the sugar, we have anything over 15 milligrams that you want to get rid of, okay? Uh, and like I said, of course, I'll be posting in the group, I'll be posting a nutrition fact label to further break down, uh, you know, the sodium, the sugar, and a couple other things on the label. So if you have any questions, um, you know, feel free to ask, of course, uh, post in the group. Um, like I said, I'll get back to you. Um, so no worries. Uh, but the numbers tonight, sodium, anything over 300 milligrams, let it go. Sugar, anything over 15 milligrams, let it go. Okay. Uh, this is of the utmost importance, especially when, you know, you're changing your diet because usually, uh, these things have no, they hold a lot of bearing on how much weight you can lose, uh, how you stay the same, X, Y, Z. So all these things come into play, okay? Um, so keep this in consideration. Um, and I would like to give you your homework for today, okay? So after you purge your kitchen and you've taken out all these items, um... The next thing you need to do for tonight, okay, your homework for tonight, this is your homework, okay? This is your homework. Purging your kitchen is your homework, okay? Uh, getting rid of this stuff is part of your homework, but the other part, the second part of your homework is I would like for you to pick a good time. Decide what time of the day is really good for you to prep meals, okay? Uh, this is important. Now, for me, uh, a Sunday afternoon-ish is good for me. Sunday afternoon is good for me because... Uh, it's my lighter day. It's one of my lighter days. It's the weekend, uh, and it's the start of the week, really. Um, so getting my food together, my meals, uh, you know, getting them boxed up, cooked, uh, it's a process. I'm not going to lie, but uh, that is what helps me to stay focused, uh, especially when um, just in general or when I'm training, excuse me, for a competition. Uh, I meal prep on Sunday afternoons, uh, usually takes me anywhere between two to four hours, give or take what I'm cooking. And, uh, I had meals all week. Okay. So, uh, first part, part one of your homework tonight is to go through your kitchen, uh, have your trash bags ready, go through every cabinet, go through the refrigerator, go through the freezer. Okay. So this is your whole entire kitchen and you, and this might be, you know, this might take um, a little more time might take more than a day depends on how much time you have uh, but any food sodium content over 300 milligrams you throw it away you put it in the trash bag and then any sugar item over 15 milligrams 15 grams you put it in a trash bag okay so uh, that's part one of your homework part two I want you to uh, decide what time of the day is good for you to meal prep, okay? Decide what time of the day is good for you to meal prep your food, okay? Uh, like I said, it's important that you, you know, you have a solid time of the day down because you don't want to be, uh, busy doing something and then you're like, oh, I got to prep my food, uh, I ain't got, I don't have anything to eat for the week, da -da -da -da. and so you're buying fast food. That's, you help alleviate that by having a designated time of day to prep your food, okay? Um, so, you have two parts tonight as far as your homework. Um, and like I said, tonight is a, it's a tough night. It's a tough day <laughs> in the boot camp because you're going to let go of some great foods that you like. Um, but as a person who's been through this process, as a person who... Uh, continually, you know, I'm always tweaking my diet. I'm always changing different things. So, um, I understand you guys pain tonight. So don't worry. I'm here. Chime in, um, you know, leave responses, leave comments, ask questions. Um, like I said, and I want to clarify sweets should definitely be in that trash bag. Do not keep no cookies, ice cream, cake, any of that stuff that it, it pertains to a lot of sugar. Let that go. Okay. I know it's tough. I You might've just bought it. You got to let it go. I'm sorry. You have to let it go because this is the only way mentally you will get over and understand. You will get over the fact of, okay, I can eat things and they don't have to be filled with sugar. Okay. Once you let something go, 
your mind replaces it with something else. Okay. Once the body lets it go, the mind replaces it with something else. Okay. So uh, keep that in mind. You're going to replace that unhealthy stuff with healthy stuff. Okay. So uh, just look at it as an investment. You are investing in yourself throughout this whole boot camp. This is what this is. You are in these five days, you are taking the time to invest in your body and yourself in your mental state and in your physical state. Okay. Because like I said, this exercise and diet thing is 80% mental. Okay. So it's only 20% of the physical stuff, only the 20% of the, the jumping jacks and burpees and push ups and all that other stuff that people do when they exercise. But the 80% is this stuff right here. It's getting in the kitchen and it's eating right seven days a week. Seven days. Okay. No six, no five, no two cheat days, no one cheat day. It's eating right seven days a week. And, you know, um, I've over the years, I've been able to see the difference. You know, I started out, like I said, I started out right where you guys are. I know what it's like to eat canned foods. I know what it's like to eat sweets, cookies, cakes, pies. And, you know, like I said, I'm human. I'm human. Um, but it's just that I've been able to hone in and discipline myself to such a degree when which is what I want to hopefully help you guys understand and hopefully uh teach you guys to do this as well um and it takes time but this is the second day and this is really the first step okay so two parts of homework tonight 300 milligrams or over trash bag 15 grams of sugar or over trash bag you go through every cabinet refrigerator and your freezer and you get rid of all these products okay and then uh like i said any questions comments or concerns feel free post in the group um and we will get back to you i will get back to you definitely okay so um i look forward to uh hearing how this went for you guys okay so um i know it's gonna be tough i know like i said so um i wish you guys the best of luck this evening um so have fun doing this um and you know you never know what you might get from this okay um there is there's much more in this this homework these two parts of homework than what you you really are learning more than what you're doing okay so take your time and like i said i'm here for you this is why i'm here this is why i'm doing this i'm doing this to you know shed some light to help people understand that uh, you can eat the foods you want to eat, okay? It's just how you eat them, okay? Um, once you get your diet solid, airtight, you're good to go, okay? So uh, I'm going to help you do that, and this is the big step right here. This is the first big step, okay? So uh, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow's day three. Uh, don't forget your homework tonight, and uh, enjoy your day, guys. Thank you.